Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the cover screen on any Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. So starting off, if you tap on the cover screen once, you will see a preview of the time, date and battery percent. This does not exist on Z Flip 2 and older. If you double tap, you'll be brought to uh, you know, the full cover screen view where you're going to see the same information. Now if you slide to the right here, you're going to see your notifications on the older Z Flip, Z Flip 2 and 1. Uh, you're just going to see the app icon. You can tap on the notification to view what it is, and you do have the actions here. On the older Z Flips, you don't have the action available. If you slide to the left here, you'll see the widgets. On the Z Flip 1 and 2, you only have the music player, but on the other Z Flips, you have a bunch of widgets here. If you go to the very edge, you can tap on Add Widget, select the widget you would like, tap on it, and you can drag and drop to reposition the widgets as well. If you slide down from the top, you'll have the control center. Now you will need to use Touch ID to use most of these toggles. So if I tap on Wi-Fi, for example, so I just tap on that, you can see use fingerprint or open phone to unlock. And when you use the fingerprint, it will actually allow you to tap on the toggle to turn on or turn off. With the flashlight toggle, when you tap on it, it does require you to click on the volume rockers in order to work okay. So you click on the volume rockers, then the flashlight's on, just click the volume rockers again to turn it off. So if we slide back up, and then we slide up again, this is where you use Samsung Wallet. So if you have Google Pay or Samsung Pay, then what you can do is you just slide up, it'll bring you to the Samsung Pay or Google Pay. You will need to use your fingerprint here, and once you've done that, you can just place your phone next to a reader, and then of course you'll be making payments. If you double click the power button here, it'll bring you to the camera app, and this is where you can use the rear camera as a front facing shooter. So by default, everything is zoomed in. This is not what you'll actually see. So you need to double tap to view the actual preview. Okay, so this is the full preview. On flip one and two, you just tap once, okay? On top of this, you can slide across to change the modes on flip three and newer. However, on flip one and two, you only have the photo mode. You cannot take a video or portrait mode uh, with this camera view right here. And then if I go to landscape mode, if I want to take the picture, I can shoot that. The camera options which are here, you have to uh, you know, choose in the camera app, okay? So the options you use for the rear taker in a camera app will translate here. You can slide to change modes like so. And if you want to take a photo or start a video, you can either click and release the volume up key or volume down key, okay? Or you can just tap on the screen, wait a couple of seconds, or you can put your hand in the background and also take a picture as well. For video, it's gonna be the same deal. Now, portrait mode, just make sure it says ready. And when it says ready, everything is good to go, then you can click on the shutter button. If you don't see ready, you may need to move a little bit further or make sure the subject is better in view. Now we can actually customize the cover screen itself. So let's open up the settings app. And then from here, we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see cover screen. Tap into this one. So we have the clock style, we have the widgets. So let's tap on clock style first. So remember on the cover screen, you saw this little, you know, clock style. That's because I went down and I selected these graphical styles here. Now, once you have selected the one you'd like, just tap on done and it'll be set. But what you can do is you can set a custom wallpaper as the cover screen, okay? So you need to select one of these basic options here. And then you can tap on customize. That's what I like to change the text color. But what you can also do, this is the big one, clock background image, tap into this, and you see choose from my wallpapers or choose from gallery. Just choose either a picture, you can also set a GIF, and then when you go to the cover screen, it's actually gonna play, uh, play the GIF or show the wallpaper that you chose. You also have widgets here. So this is where you can turn on or off the widgets. You could also do that from the cover screen as well. You also have the option to reorder, you can just move these widgets around just like so. Another thing as well is if you open up the Play Store, I may need to connect to Wi-Fi, but there's this thing called Cover Screen OS. I'm gonna to cut to uh, show it. This right here allows you to use the cover screen to open up any application you would like. So you just tap on Install here, 
and you just need to wait for this application to install and once it's installed you can open it up like so you're then going to select your Google account and so it's going to say welcome just tap on next and you need to grant all of these permissions here okay so grant appear on top permission just tap into this one turn on the cover screen OS and go back and then you'll need to enable the accessibility service tap into this one tap on installed apps cover screen OS turn it on and tap on allow and we'll just go out of here brought me to set so I will look into the cover screen app tap on cover for that and we'll also advance vacation access to cover screen OS as well if we want to record audio we'll use this as well allow and tap on next and so here is the deal okay so you can see if you want to use the stock OS you just tap on well I mean I'll show you don't worry I will show you all right and you can see all the features here all right so we'll just tap on tick and all right so what we're going to do is we'll go to settings and you can change all these options here I'm going to change I'm just going to show you how to use here is the deal. If you use this little area here, right, allows you to access the wallet, all the other stuff, okay, all right, the widgets as well. But if you go here, okay, if you slide up from here, you want to cover screen OS features, okay, all right. So let's just tap into here, and now we can open up our applications of choice. So really the main thing you just need to know is you double tap the far right hand side to access the main, you know, the main stuff I showed earlier, right, with the widgets, etc. And if I cover screen OS, you on anything else. This allows you to open whatever application you would like and use the cover screen. It's pretty darn cool. Alright, so with that being said, thanks for watching. Check out my other Z Flip videos in the description down below.